All right. Hey there, everyone. Hitesh here, back again with another video, and welcome to the continuation of our React series. So far, we have studied quite a lot about the React, quite an in-depth series about how we can build applications with the React, how the React internal works, and pretty much a lot of things. Now, from this video onwards, we are moving into a journey where we actually utilize all the things that we have grabbed so far and put this into a use of building a software, building or using the development skills. This is exactly what a lot of people miss, that how to actually transform your learnings and knowledge into the development skills, and this is known as development. In this video, I'll walk you through what we are about to build and what all skills you are going to be learning throughout this one. By the way, we are building a full stack application using React and for the backend, we are using everybody's favorite and open source app, right? So I'll walk you through what the idea behind this application and I'm, I will be focusing more on the generalized knowledge. This means after watching this entire few videos and the entire project, you will be able to build any kind of social media app. You don't need to watch any other videos after this. You'll have full knowledge. By the way, just imagine what is Facebook? Just some text and images. That's basically it. What is a Twitter? Just some text and images. So it doesn't really matter how the website looks like. End of the day, it's just a social media which is empowering you with some kind of text and some images. The same goes for the blog article. So if you know the ins and outs of how to build a blog application with some text and some images, uh, you pretty much can build any kind of social media app as well. Definitely on top of that, there could be so much more that you can do, but at least a basic building block could be ready. And that's exactly what we'll be learning in this video. So let me first show you what we are going to do. So let me share my screen. So this is where we'll be building. By the way, in case you haven't noticed, we are already on the 10th app. So we have done with that. This one is going to be technically our 11th app, but I want to show you something more. Uh, first thing, uh, although you have completed this series, I expect that you have completed this series in all the playlist manner that I have uploaded. So quite a lot of long playlists that we have gone through with the long videos, uh, 26 minutes to 40 minutes. There's a lot of uh, range in that. Only recommendation is if you're watching it in the continuation, uh, I'm not sure that whether you have seen this video at the very end or at the very last, wherever you're watching it. After finishing up your context API, go and watch my Redux toolkit in one hour. This is a crash course on Redux where I've talked quite an in-depth about how Redux toolkit works and the setup of it, different ways of handling the situation. Uh, this is going to be a little bit requirement. So in case you haven't yet watched it, go ahead, watch it in the playlist. If you're watching this entire video in just one go, go ahead and watch this one as well. And then you can move on to this video, which is obviously the next in the playlist. So what we'll be building up. Uh, we'll be building up this a small application. And again, our focus is not on the UI part, but rather more on the functionality part. In your UI, there might be two cards in one row. In our UI, it might be four cards. Doesn't really matter. This is exactly the functionality we are looking up for. This is our homepage where there will be a display of the card, which displays the title as well as a preview of the images, not the actual images. This is something which is given to you by AppRite as a kind of an easier way to handle images so that no, not the entire image is being transferred to you, but a preview version of it, which is a little bit of a lesser quality. Uh, once you click on this, any of this AI or anything, wherever you want to visit this, this gives you a full blown image, which is larger. And that's why the bigger one, because I wanted to show this exaggeratedly that this is a larger one. And you can see this is where we are, have our text data. Our text data is very, very small. I just wanted to show you that you can actually store the way how this is being bowled out. So yes, this is also done. Not only that, this project has some of the issues which are intentionally left in this one so that you can actually work on them and work on that. So that you saw that briefly log in to read post. So this, there is an intentional error being uh, shown there. And I, by the way, I will give you the entire list of where the bugs are and how you can fix them. Entire walkthrough will be given to you. But these are the things that you have to walk through and you have to learn through. I've seen that uh, when I recorded this entire series in different language and people actually appreciated that, okay, now we have some work to do and they got excited. And if I click on this latest one, you can see this is uploaded by me. So obviously I get the edit and delete control over that, not for the other people. So that's a great idea of how things are done. Here we can see we are storing more information like there is a color control, there's all of that. So we have a full-fledged editor that we are going to be using. 
uh, along with the React. Of course, we have the logout and sign up functionality and sign in functionality powered by app, right? I'll walk you through with that as well. When I click on the add post, we can see that we have this add post that we have. Uh, we have the full control of WYSIWYG editor, what you see, what you get kind of editor. We can store that. We have a slug which works automatically. Uh, we can have a nice slug which automatically converts uh, whatever the URL or our title is into a URL format with the dashes. So there is a little bit of logic writing that you will be learning in this one. So quite a lot of uh, intriguing details are there. Uh, for this entire one, we are using AppWrite end-to-end. -end. This entire things are stored in the database like this. I'll walk you through how the database are being created, how you can use them, authentication features. End-to-end, -end, the full backend is powered by the AppWrite. It's free and we will be using that. So if I click on this, uh, this is where we have entire authentication details. Uh, we are having all these uh, four or five random names of the users. But if we wish, we can go ahead and use other services for this. For example, in the settings, we have a lot more options. Just have to click and enable uh, small pieces of code that I have to inject and that's it. It supports so many. Crazy how much it supports. And we will be using authentication. We'll be using database services. We'll be st using the storage services as well. So this will give you enough of idea that how to use storage, how to use authentication and how to use databases. Uh, rest of them, I don't think so. There is too much of tutorial required. Once you know how to do A, B and C in one format, you can figure out how to do the D one. So that's the that's the goal of this series. So again, I'm super, super excited that we are going to get started and we are going to build this one. Again, my recommendation is we will be focusing more on the functionality part. The UI part, it's purely, purely based on the tailwind. I highly recommend you to give it a different look than what I have given you. A lot of other students have done that and they have found that it's a great result. They have learned so much more just by modifying the UI. It gives them so much of confidence. Of course, I'll be giving you assignments as well, but I'm super excited to get started with this one. So in the next video, we'll set up a simple uh, boilerplate React template. We'll connect our app right with that. We'll start everything from the scratch and the fresh. And I'm pretty excited that you are also following this up so far. And I'm pretty sure you'll be following in the next one as well. In case you are enjoying these series, please share them on LinkedIn and also do hit me in the comment section as well. Just a model support, a heart would be really nice. So that's it for this video. Let's catch up in the next one.